Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. I'm back with Dr. Levy. He's got a great topic, so I want you to listen and listen closely. Dr. Levy, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, give me a little bit about uh, uh, our topic today, lymphoma. None. Absolutely. So, you know, there's many different kinds of lymphoma, and today we're actually focusing on a subtype of lymphoma called follicular lymphoma. So it's actually the second most common type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, about 14,000 cases in the U.S. every year. But this is what's called an indolent or lazy lymphoma. And when we think about these lymphomas, we typically think of them as aggressive lymphomas versus indolent or lazy lymphomas. The aggressive lymphomas are treatable and curable. The indolent or lazy lymphomas are treatable but incurable. So people are dealing with them for lifelong times. Um, and, you know, before we get upset and say, oh, it's incurable, um, you know, we should say that if you go to your doctor for high blood pressure or high cholesterol, they give you a pill and it treats it, but it doesn't cure it. And the reason we treat is we're trying to prevent or delay any of the complications of the disease that can make people's life worse and also to make people live longer. So feel better or live longer. And that's the goal of treatment. And people can live with this for years or decades, long time. My, my social media, they want to know what is lymphoma. Could Absolutely. you just give me so, a basic understanding? Remember, we're not as smart as you now. No, no, no. It's not a matter of smart. So, you know, every field has their own jargon. So lymphoma is a cancer of the lymph glands. And typically people will present with sometimes swelling of their lymph glands, which can present as a lump or bump under the skin that they can feel. Um, in addition, they may also have what we call B symptoms, which are fevers or chills or night sweats, unexplained or unintentional weight loss of more than 10%. They can have profound fatigue. They can have itching. They can have infections that just don't go away. They just persist. And all of these things, when you present it to your doctor, to your regular doctor, may prompt an investigation for a lymphoma in which they may do scans like CAT scans or x-rays looking for um, a mass or a lump. And then that would eventually need to be biopsied. So you would biopsy one of these lymph glands or the bone marrow in order to make this diagnosis. Who is at risk for developing this kind of lymphoma? Okay, so uh, these lymphomas in general, much like most cancers, occur more in folks who are older as opposed to younger. There's also a slight male predominance in the development of this disease. Is this an incurable blood cancer or just a treatable? Yeah, so it's both actually. So it's both incurable and treatable. And our treatments, we have a lot of different treatment options. So I've been doing this for about two decades now. And what we started out was just chemotherapy. But now we have other treatments, including what's called monoclonal antibodies that are proteins that bind to, to the lymphoma. We also have radiotherapy. We have uh, newer therapies that are small molecules that inhibit pathways that are very critical to the cancer cells and not as important to normal cells. As we know, cancer cells and normal cells are different. And as we know more about these cancer cells and what makes them different, we're able to target things that are more essential for the cancer cells than they are to normal cells. Now, obviously, look, all treatments have side effects and all treatments have different efficacy. And it's very important to discuss that efficacy and safety profile with your lymphoma specialist. Now, there was actually just a new drug recently approved just a couple months ago called Tazveric, which also targets a um, pathway that's very critical to these follicular lymphoma cells, but less important to normal cells. So a lot of different treatment options and a lot of things for you to discuss with your primary um, follicular lymphoma specialist. Let me ask you this. So when these new treatments come out or when they're in study, uh, it's up to us to find out and ask our doctors, should our doctors be asking us this? So you're asking somebody that has a very strong bias. So I run our hemolignancies research program at Baylor here in Dallas. And obviously I think everybody should be on trials for everything. And the reason for that is the, way, the reason we have all these advances is exactly like you said, is because we're doing clinical trials. There's an old saying that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting different results. And if we keep doing the same things, we never get better. And we're getting a lot better. The FDA is approving one and a half to two either new therapies or in, new indications for older drugs or already approved drugs every month. So the treatment landscape is changing and changing very, very rapidly. Our treatments are becoming better and better tolerated. Very encouraging. 
Very, very encouraging. Before I let you go, what do you see on the horizon for this? Because usually when you've got this disease, you just need to know that there is an answer. There is a cure. This is why we're having such a hard time with COVID-19. Absolutely. So, you know, there's not currently a cure that's approved, but if you ask me, do I think there's a cure in the near future? I really do think there are. So there are these things that we're doing in clinical trials called CAR-Ts in which we can actually take blood cells out of your body, train them to hunt down a cell surface marker on the lymphoma cells, wherever it is in the body, and then put them back into the patient. And some of the early data that we've seen is that this may lead to a durable response and hopefully a cure. So I'm hoping that if we have a discussion in four or five years, we're not going to call it an incurable cancer. Remember, something is only incurable until it's curable. I want everyone to know that my uh, guest today, Dr. Levy, he's at Baylor Charles A. Salmon Cancer Center in Dallas, Texas. Can I just give a website for your, for your viewers and listeners? So there is the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society who does wonderful work for everybody affected with blood cancer, whether it's the patient or the families. They provide um, educational resources. They sometimes provide financial resources for patients and their families, as well as help to foster research in the treatment of these diseases. And their website is www.lls.org, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, just a wonderful organization. Well, you've been a wonderful guest on the Val Beebe Show, speaking to a situation that I know people need to hear about. Thank you so much, Dr. Levy. Blessings on all me. the work that you do. Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I host the Val Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.